In this tutorial, we're going to talk about circular text or arc text. For example, if you had the flat face of a washer and you wish to mark text 360 degrees around the flat face, this is how you would do that. You're going to create text that is arced to a circle and you are going to dictate the diameter by entering the radius. Now, there are very specific steps that you need to follow when you create arc text and you must do them in this order. So the very first thing you're going to do is create a text field. Now we're going to do that again by clicking to add a text string and once that's clicked on you can see we've got our text string here. Now before we do anything else it's very critical that you do not resize this text string by going to the general tab and resizing anything or mess with any of the other settings. The first thing that we want to do is you want to go to immediately to circle displacement and enable this that is going to say I intend to wrap this text to an arc. Now we have to know our diameter so let's pretend for tutorial's sake that our diameter is 20 millimeter. Therefore we need to give it the radius and the radius of 20 is 10 so let's give it a 10 millimeter radius which will give us a 20 millimeter diameter circle. Now you can see that our text is now wrapped to this 20 millimeter diameter circle. We haven't changed anything with the text height just yet. We haven't changed what it says or adjusted our fill settings. We're going to wait to do that. And here's why. Now that we've set this to the radius of 10 and we have our 20 millimeter diameter circle, if we come back over to general settings and we look at the overall width and height, this is describing the overall width and height of the circle or the virtual circle as we could call it that we created as well as the text. It does not simply control the size of the circle or individually control the size of the text. It is looking at both of them in a group. And you can see down here on the bottom that this distance here is equal to this distance here. Therefore, this is overall size is the circle, which is 20, plus the height of our text, plus the height here on this end and on the left and the right side as well. So essentially, it accommodates on north, south, east, and west all the same. Therefore, we get 29.9766 based on our text string height. Now, it's very important that if we want to change this text height, that we don't change anything here. Because what happens is if we try to do that, we're going to grow the entire object, including the circle, and we're going to throw off our diameter. So to do that now, we're going to come back to string, and we're going to adjust the height here. Now, as soon as we enter a value into this object, it will become active. So you can see at 5, plus 5 on the other side, we should have close to 30, which is what we had, 29.97. There is a little bit of an offset here based on the R special characters and the way that they're arced. But overall, we're almost dead on 30 which should give us the 5 here, the 5 here, and the 20 millimeter diameter circle. So now if we want to control our height independently, we will use this value again under string and under string style and height. So if I would like to make this text smaller, I can make it 2 millimeter simply by typing in 2. Now we have 2 millimeter tall text. 3, here's a 10 millimeter tall text, which is a little too big for that size and let's go back to four which is somewhere in the middle and that's a nice size for our tutorial here now that we've got that height set let's go back and change what this says and let's just call this circle text so now you can see we can adjust the height we can adjust what the text says and let's go ahead and give it a fill now we can see the text showing very nicely on our screen. Now one tip when you create circle text, because the text is wrapping, the bottom of the text tends to get closer together than the top. Therefore, when I create circle text, I always like to create a little bit of spacing. So I'm going to come to my string displacement under space, increase this to around 135. That's a little too much. Let's go back down to 120. Now we have a little bit better spacing. Our characters are not jumbled up here along the bottom edges where we're real close together. Okay, let's come back to circle displacement now and let's look at a few of the particular settings for circle displacement. We have a couple things we can change. We want to change, um, we can go to counterclockwise, which is basically going to change our text so that the top wraps and by doing that you can see the text move to the bottom now we're wrapping 
counterclockwise on the top side of the text. Here you can see we really need to increase our spacing because of the way we're wrapping. So we can come up now and adjust this. Let's go up even more. Let's go up to 180 and see what that does. That spacing is a little bit better for us. So you do have that option. Let's go back to 120 here. And let's turn counterclockwise off. You can also put the text inside of your circle. So let's say this is not your inner diameter, but your outer diameter of your washer. We can go inside. And now you can see, based on that small diameter, our text size is a little bit too tall. So in this case, we probably want to use a smaller text size. We bring that down to 2 millimeter tall text. You can see it fits a little bit better. And now if we try inside and counterclockwise, you can see we can wrap the text in this manner. So you could do a combination where you had the text like reading across the top in this manner and then you could duplicate this text string just by uh, control C, control V, copy and paste. There is a copy on there now and turning on counterclockwise and now you can see we have two options. If I come here and increase that spacing again and zoom in a little bit, now we can see what we've got going on here. So you can create some real nice designs. Let's go ahead and move this copy off of here and I will just click the delete key and get rid of it. Let's reselect our other copy and let's turn this inside off. And then if you want to adjust the angle of where that text is, you can come back over here under your general tab and adjust the angle. So I can go anywhere I want to go here and it, you can also use uh, your, your text uh, manipulation tools and manually rotate this around and put this wherever you want it. 45, let's go to 90, go back to 0. Okay. So that covers circular text and you can always consult your MiniLays Pro software manual for further clarification on any of the items we've covered in this tutorial.